Okay, in previous video, we already determined the final void ratio and then we already plot the curve E versus effective stress. So now we need to determine the coefficients of permeability and also to calculate the consolidation settlement. Okay, so this is the plot that we've already done in a previous uh, video. Alright, so now from the plot, so what we need to do is to determine the coefficients of volume compressibility MV for an effective stress range of 220 to 360 kN per meter cube. Sorry, meter square. Alright, so this is the equation to get the volume of compressibility. Alright, so we have the delta A over delta stress. Okay, and times with the 1 over 1 plus E naught. Since we have E naught here, means that it refer to the value of the stress range. Okay, so we have the stress range 220 to 360 kN per meter square. Meaning that the stress naught is the smaller value, which is 220, and the stress 1 is 360. Not here mean that the initial. Okay. Alright, so at the beginning, okay, the stretch note here that we want to highlight the 220 up to 360 kN per meter square. So now we need to know what is the void ratio value for the corresponding uh, stress here. So now for the stretch note 220 kN per meter square, so we go to the graph, okay, on the graph, we identify for the value of 220, okay, this is here, and then up to touch the loading curve only, only for the part of the loading, loading curve only, and then touch to the curve and then bring it to the y-axis and you will have the E here is 0 0.862. So the E here is the E naught together with the stress naught here. Okay, so the E naught is 0 0.862 and how about the stress one? So which is the 360, it's around here. Okay, touch to the loading curve again, and then take it to the y-axis, then you will have the E1 here is 0 0.827. So this is the E1 value. So now we have the E0 and E1, we already have this effective stress range, so we can get the MV value. So we are using this equation, the delta E is the E0 minus E1, so we have 0 0.862 minus 0 0.827. Divide by this uh, delta stress, which is stress 1 minus with the stress not here. Okay, so you will have 360 minus 220 and times with the 1 over 1 plus E not here again since it's referring to the E not so make sure you use the E not value which is 0 0.862 in this question. So now you can calculate the MV so you will get the unit is meter square per kilometer. So this is the MV, the volume of compressibility. So these coefficients of volume compressibility will be used uh, in the next question to get the consolidation settlement. So now, use the data obtained in A. So what data that we obtained previously? MV here. So we will use this MV to get the consolidation settlement for a 4 meter thick layer of the clay. And then, and with the average effective stress range is 220 to 360. Same effective stress range. So to get the consolidation settlement, so this is the equation that the consolidation settlement is actually equivalent to delta H. Okay, the difference in H and it's also equivalent to MV times with the delta stress prime times with the H. Alright, now since we have the MV, so we will use this equation. Alright, so SC equivalent to MV delta stress H. So MV we have calculated in question A just now, alright, so which is here, okay, and then the delta stress, we will refer to the effective stress change given in the question, okay, and then the H value is the thickness as mentioned in the question, it's 4 meter, alright, so we just substitute with the 4 meter, and then you calculate it, so you will have the consolidation settlement is 0 0.075 meter. Alright, so from the plot of void ratio versus with the stress prime, okay, you will get the MV, okay, MV, volume compressibility, and we will use that value to get the SC, the consolidation settlement. 
right? 